Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can work out the acute angle between a plane pi and a line L that intersects the plane. Now, in order to find that acute angle theta between the line and the plane, what we've got to do is imagine taking a point on this line here and dropping a vertical triangle onto the plane. And if we make that triangle a right angle triangle, then the angle theta that we're looking for is this one marked in here. Now, if I take a side view of what I've got here, it's going to look something like this with our plane pi here, the line L intersecting the plane, and you can see our vertical triangle, it's perpendicular triangle here, with the angle theta drawn in. Now, in order to get this angle, we'll be given the equation of the line L. It can come in various forms. It could come in this form, the vector parametric form, or the Cartesian form. And you should be familiar with these forms. If not, do check out video tutorials on this, where you'll find links to these videos in the description below this video. Now, L, M, and N in either of these equations represent a vector parallel to the line. And I've called this the vector B. And it's got these ratios L, M, and N in, which we should be able to extract from whatever form we're given for the equation of a line. Now, when it comes to the plane pi, the equation of the plane pi can be given in various forms. For instance, the scalar product or dot product form or the Cartesian form. And you should be familiar with these forms. If not, again, check out the tutorials on this in the description. Now you'll notice in green I've written A, B and C because these represent the components of a vector, let's say N, which is normal to the plane. And what I'm going to be doing is working out the acute angle, let's say alpha, between the normal n and the vector b, which is the vector parallel to the line. And we can do that very easily by taking a rearranged version of the scalar product or dot product. That is, that cosine of the angle alpha equals the modulus of b dotted with n, all divided by the magnitude of b times the magnitude of n. You'll notice I've got these in a modulus sign because I'm looking at the positive value which will give us an acute angle for alpha. And then once I've worked out alpha, it's a simple case of just taking it away from 90 degrees or pi upon 2 radians if you're working in radians to get the angle theta. If you're working in degrees, then it's just going to be 90 degrees minus alpha. OK, so I've got a question here, which we'll just run through. It's to find the acute angle theta between the plane pi and the line L, where pi has this Cartesian equation, 2x plus 3y minus 4z equals 2, and the line L has this parametric vector form, i minus 5j plus 2k, plus lambda multiplied with all of the vector 3i minus 2j plus k. So what we need to establish is a normal to the plane, and that's easy because it's just going to be the coefficients of x, y, and z. That would be 2, 3, minus 4. So we can let n be the vector 2i plus 3j minus 4k. And for a vector b parallel to the line, L, then it's going to be this vector in here, 3i minus 2j plus k. So I've got that in there. Now I've just got to use this formula here, and you can use it, by the way, as n dot b over the magnitude of n times the magnitude of b. It obviously doesn't matter which way around you do it, as this is commutative. So if I work out cosine alpha, then you can see I've done n dotted with b, 
2 times the 3 plus 3 times the minus 2 plus negative 4 times the 1 here. And that's all over the magnitude of each of the two vectors, n and b. And if you use your calculator, you'll find that you get this value here. And this is a classic case where this would come out negative, but because I've put the modulus sign down it, I strip the negative off and I get the positive value, 0 0.1985 and so on. So just take the inverse cosine of both sides and if you're working in degrees that angle alpha turns out to be 78.549 and so on degrees. So I just need to get theta now which is just a case of taking that angle away from 90 degrees and you end up with 11.5 degrees to one decimal place. Okay so I hope you've been able to get that example. What follows in this series is another example you might like to try and there's a slight twist in it so uh, do have a go at it and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do questions like this.